Hey guys, Brian Holder here, Brian Holder Graphic Design. Got a WYSIWYG Web Builder 9 tutorial for you today. We're going to be talking about the Global Replace Tool that's in WYSIWYG Web Builder 9. Uh, check me out on Facebook, by the way. I have a new Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash bjholderweb. I'll put a link to it down below. Um, so basically, WYSIWYG Web Builder 9 uh, now comes with something called the Global Replace Tool. And what we're looking at right here, actually, in this browser, this is a theme that I'm working on. I decided I'm going to try to crank out a nice, couple nice premium themes for you guys to use. Um, so this is a sneak peek at one I just started probably about an hour ago. I haven't gotten too far on it. But I wanted to test out the Global Replace Tool, see what it did. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest with you. I really like it. So I'm going to show you what it does and get you excited about it. So basically, here we are looking at my theme. You can see I have a master frame and in a, in an index page started. Um, so let's say you really like this theme, but uh, you know you you got you're dedicated to this blue color. You already have a logo. You want to pull a color out of your logo to use in here. Hey, no sweat. Here's what you do. With my theme, you can uh, go to Tools and then click on uh, Replace Property Values. And you may be using the ribbon the uh, ribbon layout up here, which looks a little bit more like a uh, Microsoft Word or something. I didn't like that. I got rid of it. Um, but now, needless to say, if you, if you go to Tools, you'll see the uh, Global Replace uh, option. And so what we're going to do is we're going to replace a property of color. And it's going to apply to all of these different uh, objects. So any images, forms, any drawing tools such as shapes, um, navigation objects like uh, um, menu bars, uh, text color, and, and other things. Uh, you can choose to have it be on just the current page of the entire website. So what we're going to do is switch the entire website. We're going to change the color. And what we want to do is get rid of this green color that we have. And let's say you wanted to put in uh, pink. Hot pink, right? Uh, maybe. Yeah, okay, what the hell. Hot pink. So you can choose which colors, background colors, borders, shadows, text, or all. And what we're going to do is replace anything that's that color. We want to become pink now. So we hit replace, and that's it. It's really that simple. So now when we hit preview, you can see that our theme is now pink. And anything that was green, now this, this bright pink, and it's blinding me, and I want to get off the page because it's so bright. So maybe we'll go back and change that again because it's just too bright. Let's, let's see that again in slow-mo here. Replace. We're going to replace anything that's this bright hot pink. And we're going to go with, uh, let's go with a special blue. Let's just kind of make our own blue here. And if you had uh, a color, like in a logo or something, you could use the ink dropper and go and pick it out of your logo and use an exact color. Which is really cool. Hit replace. And now everything's blue. Which basically gives uh, you know any kind of premium theme that I'm going to create for you guys here uh, the ability to have any color you want, anything doesn't matter, anything, uh, which is really really cool. Um, so that's the global replace tool. You can replace more than just colors, but I think color is probably the biggest uh, the biggest thing. Um, let's just take a quick look at the other. Let's just take a quick look here. Um, tools replace property values. And you can replace uh, files, so you can pick an old file name and replace it with a new one. Uh, you can swap out fonts, so right now I'm using uh, Trebek, Trebuke, however you pronounce it. And you could swap that out if you wanted to, so if you wanted to swap that out for Lucida Sands, replace. And now all of the, all of the font has been replaced. Um, you do want to go and double check, as you, as you can see with this one, um, different fonts have different widths. So if you do do that, you, you want to make sure that everything is still um, as it should be and things aren't overlapping or anything like that. But I'm going to do the site. You see we have our new font. Anything that was in the old font is now, now being replaced. So hopefully that uh, that tutorial helps you use that tool wisely. It's a, it's a great tool, especially if you got a lot of changes to make on a lot of pages. It can probably save you a lot of time. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Check out my Facebook page with the link below and like me. I would really, really, really appreciate it. I just got that started, so my likes are pretty low at the moment. 
uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Alrighty, thanks.